This is where we start to see Gordon's unique system come into play. Now, instead of attacking the arm that's inside his seatbelt, he's going to go for the arm that's outside first. So he's baiting Galvao to hand fight. When Galvao brings his left hand up to try to defend the choke, Gordon's going to reach his right arm under the armpit and grab that left hand to trap it. This grip on the hand makes it really easy for him to feed the hand down and secure it with his legs. Once that left arm's secure, we see him switch to this sort of straight jacket control. So this does a couple things. It helps to feed that arm across to your other hand, and it also takes away a lot of your opponent's strength, right? You can think of it like holding an alligator's mouth shut. They're going to be strong biting down, but not so strong opening up. At this point, the system's set up how Gordon wants it, right? He just needs to find a way to get under Galvao's chin. So this is just a little battle that's happening here. It's going to be a lot of repeated things where Gordon's holding the hand down, trying to get it out of his way while he uses his forearm to grind under the chin. So now we see the beginning of the end. Gordon's holding that hand down, walking his forearm across the chin. He's under the chin at this point. He just needs to get that forearm deeper so he knows that he can get that bicep control.